I have been told by many, because I've been doing the Maxor video reactions, that I should react to Maxor's explanation, his incorrect summary of Metal Gear Rising. And whenever I see Metal Gear Rule 34, something's rising. And it's not Metal Gear. So here we will delve into the dark side of the force. The Maxor appreciation moment. We're just jumping roid ain't it metal gear rising revengeance is not a word in the dictionary it's also one of my favorite games besides genshin impact created as no he was the chosen one it's a spin-off to the critically acclaimed metal queer solid four guns of the pirates we are as raiden whose resume involves fighting the illuminate there's a lot of gay hentai about metal gear i don't know why i've never played metal gear but i've seen the gay hentai not for like for research not because like i actually no because like i i do like these tournaments for rule 34 turn not that i actually looked it up on my spare time just like because i've been forced kind of to see not that in a way of naughty and a bisexual vampire trading off slow stealth gameplay and conference calls of an unspecified duration for pulse pounding that, that's a sand sound effect was that a nux jump scare action gameplay unique cutting mechanics and the stupidest plot of any game since up uh, the last one you know the all right dude all right dude all right dude you play genshin impact and you think this plot's dumb dude there's a girl in genshin impact who literally canonically strangled a snake that tried to swallow her because her ass was too dummy thick that it choked it to death. One where headache kajingles puts his protagonist in a microwave, now caught yes. in a worldwide conspiracy headed by an evil and destructive empire called NOT THE POLICE! Oh no! The United States, it's up to us oh, to stop no. Senator Dwayne The Rock Johnson from becoming black, fight cyborg- <laughs> Why does this sound like something that could actually exist? <laughs> no, Dwayne's becoming black! Anything but that, please! Dinosaurs controlled by orphans and fight a series of extremely online YouTube Personas 4, such as Jack Bezos, the Nintendo Virtual Boy, and Markiplier. I'm gonna come find you. Set to the tune of a ah. hardcore rock soundtrack made by the world-famous Toontown Online composer for the express purpose of killing anyone above 40. And to complete our journey, we- Look at that ass, though. Like, I'm You're gonna wonder why there's so much good gay hentai when this man is caked up so much. Everyone's, like, talking about how the, the freaking stealth mechanics are, are a little- Little wonky in Metal Gear Rising. Well, maybe it's just because he's so dummy thick. The clap of his ass cheeks keep alerting the guards. Have you ever considered that possibility? Maybe it's maybe there's a canonical reason behind it. God damn it! Complete our journey. We will have to resort to unrestricted brutality, cutting and slicing our enemies like a human-sized slap chop. In between philosophy about the nature of conflict. The dude, I love an anime when the dude like pull takes his sword out of his sheath, he puts it right back, and then his opponent just turns into like tofu. Morality of separating families the hard way and memes. They made Twitter into a Plot point. So if any of that interests you, feel free to join me as we die. Yo, there was a woman! Dive headlong into the wonderful madness of Metal Gear Rising Revan Gians, and the voices now activated. Look at that butt, it's everywhere! Wait, are you saying that if I played this game, I would be able to stare at his butt the entire time? Like, is that a real thing? So we boot up the game. Something's rising and it's not the gear. But it doesn't support high resolutions. To fix this, we head to NeoGAF and download a virus. Now I can do oh, any resolution. What amazing go. gameplay. Our story begins in the 2009 color scheme with our hero Raiden protecting President Barfsacko Crumbo. He's touring his birthplace of Kenya. I am uh, President United States Obama. Oh no, dude, this dude. Mr. President, you have dementia. Uh, drone strike the wedding. That can be arranged. What the fuck was that? Insurance fraud. Why, hello there. Would you care to see my RGB lighting? Damn, I, I was looking at your butt. I didn't even notice you had a sword. Spent $3,000. Sir, this is a Wendy's. Oh. I'll just have to give you a demonstration then. Damn. Oh shit, he's got RGBs. Let's get the fuck out. I guess you could say he's half the man he once was. <laughs> Not bad. Uh, my name is Obama. I have, uh, shit my doo-doo ass. Don't worry, Obama. I'll protect you from this sidewalk. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd yes. like to introduce you to the first enemy in the game. 
Now he's the first 100 enemies in the game. Yo, this is the standout true. feature of Metal Gear Rising. The ability to cut anything, and I do mean anything. Nature, humans, telepathic traffic poles, a family of four, and even staircases that are required to progress the game. I, I no. think that's an oversight. This was groundbreaking stuff for the PS3. Use it to hit weak points, confuse your enemies, and prevent them from attacking, or accelerate deforestation. What are you doing, Ryder? Most a the anti Mr. Beast. Animals deserve to be extinct. Where the fuck is Ryder? Hang on, I think I'm hearing uh, boss music. My game crashed. I'm just gonna uh, run past everyone. Uh, Joe Biden, please help me pass the healthcare. Healthcare, you say? I'm a specialist. Damn. Ah, a new customer. Bro, it's. Mm. Incredible. The dog is We're gonna be talking about the baby. Let's hope Obamacare covers euthanasia. My name is Obama. I, uh. Shut up. Stop right there. Put down President Bumcrack Osama. I'll put him down, all right. But no, I have a giant robot. I love how, but like, Maxor's videos are incredibly highly edited, crazy fine-tuned, and like 90% of his jokes are just mispronouncing names of famous people. Uh, federal agent spotted initiating. Why didn't I see that? Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to the tutorial boss. We're currently undergoing a learning experience, the one you can only get with a giant laser. This is maybe the best game ever made. Made. And although the gameplay is a little simple, the sheer scale makes me feel both empowered and quite intimidated. It's just a wonderful way to do it when you don't look like a cracked up rooster. Of course, there's no need to worry, because Raiden is fucking jacked. Let's go, Raiden! Pulling a Zoro moment, and he doesn't even need to kill people of color to do it. What an absolute Giga Chad. Mission accomplished. So Raiden runs all the way to a locomotive to confront Dimes for Crimes, led by none other than Buff Bezos. Uh, Mitch McConnell, uh, please just <laughs> Why do our politicians hog all the good missiles? Obama! Your prime has expired, Raiden, and so has his life. Nice. Yeah. It's time for the next boss fight. I say that sarcastically because most people would classify it as a fucking suicide. I'm surprised this is on the train instead of in front of it. Face it, Jack, you can't even hold a sword. What the fuck is a sword? I could give you a demonstration, but first, what's your favorite hand? Well, my left. No, not the JoJo I'm about to level up, Jack, and you look like just enough XP. Oh fuck, he's using bullets. Need a hand, Raiden. Also, who am I? So long, Let's go. So at least two minutes pass, and Raiden is traversing the vacuum of space on his way to the <laughs> Colonel. I'm trying to fly around. <laughs> sorry, sorry, it wasn't <clears throat> anyway. Round, but the clap of my ass cheeks keeps alerting Raiden. Right. I made that joke earlier. What the hell, man? You're not allowed to do that. I'm playing Genshin Impact, but I've run out of credit card debt to purchase Ganyu. So if you can, can you lend me a, a hand? I Stop it, dude! This man makes the hand jokes in all of his videos. I will surely stop collecting them. You have a problem. So after the roughest plane ride since Delta, we head to a third world shithole known as Russia to find the men who rough. killed President Bums. <laughs> <laughs> That's rough, buddy. Sack of Chungus and put an end to their illegal razor blade factory. Wait a second, where's the runway? Finally equipped with his new customizable gamer mouse body, Raiden begins his journey by encountering the three helpless victims, knocking them to the air and scooping out their spines like fucking ice cream. You see, this is actually our primary method of healing, since every spine is filled to the brim with delicious electrolytes. This is the actual term used in the game. Just like American football, the soldiers of the future are fueled by Gatorade. We, however, are prime, prime energy drink. We we serve communists, breakfast, lunch, and supper. Fueled by violence. Oh, hang on one second, I've got a call. You should kill yourself now! So anyways, we head to the streets to get acquainted with the stealth, but unfortunately for the populace, it's completely optional. So Yeah, because the clap of his ass cheeks have we've already established. Instead, we decide to fight the foot fetish tank. And let me tell you, this enemy is real fun to kill, especially considering their fucking jump speed. Man, there really is no time between these cutscenes. Oh fuck. No sex offender spotted. Oh my god, he's a Genshin Impact player! Every single time I see his videos, I'm just blown away by the editing. What's the dog doing now? 
What the fuck is a dog? You are such a fucking Philistine, Ryan. Wait, how do you know my name? I am reprogrammed with knowledge of everyone. Oh yeah? Yes. Who's your owner then, little dog? The NSA. But my handler is a white woman. Damn, that's rough. I will never eat no, peanut butter any, ever again. For our next that. battle, we have Blade Wolf. Oh, Jesus. And let me say, if you don't know how to parry more than one attack, it's um time to learn. I uh, don't know what attack this is. Fortunately, Blade Wolf will stop yiffing and call in Meals on Wheels, which allows us to partake of the Gatorade Eucharist. Now with the power of Jesus in our veins, we yes! donate Blade Wolf to a kill shelter, and then he monologues. Damn. You're gonna stay on my dick until you die. You're Somehow, like I've arrived at the Bitcoin factory. I've been moderating you at Twitch for months, and you never told me you had a boyfriend. Who are you? Oh my god, she spoke to me. Jesus fucking- Yo, can we pull like a Cleopatra show and have the main bad guy in Russia over here be a black woman, please? I feel like that would do a really good job for representation purposes and, um, historical accuracy. Christ, Raiden, watch out. That woman is live on- Stop. Stop. Now sufficiently no! disturbed, Raiden moves streamer. on to the best level in the game using my favorite mechanics. Inconvenient fencing, handy enemies with cool controls, and you better believe there's some bad stealth. It even has cameras with zero degree vision. Just don't uh, just step into the, the lasers. <laughs> Oh my god, it's a woman. Please stop. Oh! I've been waiting for you, right? Wait, and she's an adult! I, I, I'm a Genshin player! I don't- Adult women are not my thing! God, no! <laughs> Shout out to Big Chungus 29 for the donation. Please stay back. Sorry, Jack, but my stream demands you die. God, I wish that was me. That can be arranged. Welcome to the world's first boss fight, where the battle is against your own controller. Provided, of course, that I don't throw that shit against a wall. In this confrontation, we fight the dark-skinned tomboy GF that I've always dreamed of. Juggling and slaughtering- Look, I'm not gonna say I'm a huge My Hero Academia fan, because we all know my stance on it. The fact that I think it's in in incredibly mid to, to decent. However, Miruko Hentai is potentially the greatest hentai based off a shonen character of all time. Several varieties of jihadist Bakugan. If I were forced to describe the experience, it would be Poggers or perhaps Papega, especially after <laughs> Raiden achieves the miracle Papega, of flight even. when you fire the animators. But despite some of the occasional frustration, this battle is one of the best. Plus, I, uh, I like it when women hit me. Yeah, that's some cool theme music, bitch. Yes! That was cool! Your purpose in life is to be in my stream sucking on my dick daily. Uh, I see. Dick my ah. stream! It's, it's Call of Line! You are truly weird, champ! I, is that a bad thing? You make me want to Anything kill myself faster, but no matter. With my death, you Not very poggers of you! At 29th Avenue, Mexico City! What the fuck? These are the coordinates. <laughs> God damn. I'm Live your life as a simp or die as Andrew Tate. Turned on. Right, we need to pick you up. What's your location? I'm... Uh, I, I'm in a Chinese factory. Now equipped with a solid lead for his Metal Gear Rising Revengeance 2013 video yeah! game. It's up to Sonic the Edgehog to make his way to the... <laughs> City of Mexico, complete with his 50 pounds of smuggled cocaine and a stolen Mercedes. Raiden, are, are you wearing a sombrero? It's my disguise. I'm trying to blend in. You are he's seen one episode of Pokemon and he's seen Team Rocket disguises and he's like, I know exactly what's going on. You're trying to give me a fucking brain aneurysm. Your destination is on the right. Now it's time for Raiden and his small pit bull to make their descent into Fallout 3. Hey, what's up gamers? Maxor here, and today we're gonna be questioning why Blade Wolf is packing an entire bakery. Better keep playing the game to bleach my eyes. <laughs> What's up, gamers? It's, it's Matt. me, Sewer Bane! And today, we are being beat to death by a guru. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It it's a little weird to me that we're having more trouble with Harambe than a giant robot. Raiden opens him up like a Pokemon fan after ripping out his organs. Thank God that's the only enemy. Uh, otherwise, I'd have problems. Oh my God, it's a Smash tournament. I have to stop it. And it that. Oh good, new enemies. I was just about to run out of those. Okay, but seriously, this enemy uh, doesn't want to hit me. It's alright, I don't have a Twitter account. You speak 
English? What the fuck is he saying? Hey, Peck is holding a big of It's like, don't, dude, don't worry. Don't worry. There's nothing to be scared of. I don't play Genshin Impact, and I also don't go on Discord daily. Can you repeat that? Listen, I don't know what a McDonald's does. After abandoning a child to his death, we're finally able to play the rest of the level, right? Dude, it's Mexico. Children in sewers is like, that's that's just Sunday. And equips a cardboard box once used in a famous, well-known video game series called Smash Brothers. That's yeah! Wario Snake. He also attacks by farting. Now you too can remain undiscovered in any public park. Oh, fuck. Let's just move on. Now finished with the ape exhibit, we're finally free to explore the secret base entirely without suspicion. For two minutes. In that time, it's up to Raiden to escort an entire congregation to meet God. Stealth is of course optional, but so is my mercy. Now heading to the confessional, Raiden finds something that he was never supposed to see. Oh no. Tie it's fits with slap chops. Slap your troubles away. Slap you got big chops. I'm just gonna watch Mojo script writing room! Nah, I'm gonna leave this game for a while, play some good old Gary's mod. We get a call from Boris Johnson, and he tells us that the baddies are keeping the brains of children in Futurama jars, piloting the various zoo exhibits we- I'm remembering right now that Velma literally did this. There is not a soul or shred of originality in that entire TV show. Ours piloting the various zoo exhibits we fought on our journey. And to figure out why, we sneak in using a wasted game mode. This lasts an entire minute. If you don't walk past everyone, using some proprietary software, we assume the role of the US government and spy on the bad guys' webcams. You should think about it this way. The US government has so much practice spying on their citizens. They must be so good at spying at enemies. Think about it that way, guys. All of our privacy that's constantly Constantly being invaded? That's just practice. Like, they're pros at it at this point. Before selling them crack, their evil and dastardly plan is to restart the war economy by fueling conflict in Syria and Donbass, then yes. making a gigantic profit by selling weaponized baby shark to the military. But instead of selling a Boston Dynamics dog like normal people, they figured the best way to create a robot army was to consult Mr. Epstein. So with our next target identified, we advance further until we find the giant robot. And if this hallway has anything to say about it, we're in for a fun boss fight. Raiden endures eight hours of being stunned before playing his reverse Uno card and no! trapping it in a corner for up two minutes, dicing up his armor and clapping him faster than that family on the highway in my Ford Mustang. Don't worry, he's a basic enemy in the next mission. Oh my god, I can't- Clapping him harder than that dog that team started on Christmas. I don't know if you remember, there was that whole meme about Keemstar hitting a dog on Christmas and everyone was making fun of him. Can't possibly cut through glass. Stop right there, Raiden, or I'll blow this child. Who is that? His head. I'll blow his head open. Wait, are you for real? I don't have time for this conversation. Children are in danger. Do you know what a gun does? What's a gun? Damn. Here we go! So at least nine seconds happen and Raiden's side is driving to hell, all the while taking his eyes off the road with some CNN. Oh sweet, my programming is on. Super Idol de Charo, domain. You know, America. Yo, can we get a SpongeBob VTuber, please? America isn't so bad after all. After being in Mexico for so long, I'm starting to miss how peaceful it can be, especially the police. Raiden evades the evil forces of big sobriety as I mean, to be fair, Raiden's white. I don't know why he's so worried about it. They attempt to suppress another innocent drunk driver, careening through the nightmare. Ah, uh, that was not okay. <laughs> what? They're known as Denver before encountering the police budget. And showing off his toned legs. Wait a second, boys. He's white. I'm sorry, officer. This man has literally made every joke I make. He makes the same joke 30 seconds later. I'm literally plugged into the Maxor Matrix right now. Busy playing League of Legends. All right, I've heard enough. Deadly force authorized. Oh, fuck. We are now forced to fight the hypothetical dystopian scenario where the government and police are- That series sucked, by the way. Specifically- Agent, I read the whole Divergent series, and it was, it was kind of ass. The corporation that we've come to volunteer for blood donations. Although, Joe Ryden seems to be fighting their army of interns because most of them use a stick. Besides, of course, the military-grade Roombas, Ryden heads into- an office through the organs of an officer and inside the <laughs> biggest <laughs> elevator ever made. We take it down the hard way. Also, they forgot to limit my turn speed. There's even a subway section with this cool new enemy that I've never seen before. I don't think anything can ruin this. What's up, gamers? God damn it. Let me tell you something important, Raiden. You're a normie and a beta male cuck. No! I'm only here to dispense justice. That's cringe, Jack, and your setup is weak. 
You can't even project yourself onto a building or a billboard. Late. Your clout doesn't mean anything. It's worthless. Cope and seethe, Jack. Oh. Why don't you go back to Facebook and post some minion memes? No, that's not the point. Do you see now all this murder and you still aren't based? You bastard. Shut the fuck up and- oh. He just eradicated to Listen for a moment. Oh my god, it's the cringe name hey baby. Stop right there. What the fuck is wrong with his hair? What are you doing? He looks like Sonic impregnated a vending machine. No, stop it! He even has a fake chin. Do you see now, Jack? How can a cringe lord like you ever hope to kill my police officer? You're gonna be talking about the push, 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 push. No fuck. So after Ch Bro, he's white, so they were only using like 50% of their power. Chopping the authorities so fast that their bodies are steaming, Biden gains a brain hemorrhage from watching my editing, which affects his movement <laughs> slightly. Now emotionally compromised, we head through the mandatory stealth section. Dude. You know, eventually. How pleased you are to chop away, Jack the Ripper. You could say that I'm a big fan of your What? Work. My name is Monsoon of the Sussy Imposters. No! What the fuck? Emergency meeting. <laughs> I freaking love Maxor so much. Like, taking cringe lines and saying them with, like, badass poses is my- it's my favorite gender. Please stop. <laughs> no. There's something genuinely wrong with you. It's just a little trolling, Jack. You're in the land of the free, after all. And your idea of freedom is enslaving children. Do you know what the Civil War was? It's cringe or be cringe, Jack. Soon you'll understand. Free will is a myth. Religion is a joke. We're all pawns controlled by something greater. Memes. The DNA of the soul. They are are our culture, our clout. How about full of shit? Is that a meme? No, it fucking isn't, you amoeba. You'll never be based with memes like that. God, Jack is clearly someone that, oh, when he goes on Twitter, he sorts by following and not by for you. You're right. About me, I mean. What? I thought I could be just like you, but- But you gaslighted me into submission. I'm now all submissive and breedable. That is a mistake. Perhaps I am cringe, but that makes me free. That's sus. <laughs> Doctor, turn off my cringe inhibitors. But Raiden, you'll no! be a subscriber. Do it. Okay. <laughs> I was fucking joking. No! Why did you do it? You think you can just log off, Jack? You fool! I'm starting to see what you're getting at. And if based means what I think it means, then caring about your shitty posts is a long way off. That's rich coming from the likes of you. Bro, he's gonna ratio him right now. This is wild. Family guy funny moment. In this boss fight against the Monsus battle bus, Raiden rages against the moral degeneracy of violence in movies and sex on TV, using Damn. his good old-fashioned values upon which he used to rely. Why did does he always do Family Guy? Why is it always the Family Guy intro? You've got me. During which we are subjected to an onslaught of attacks at average speed for a cheetah, demanding the absolute most of the player to survive the human spaghetti. So if you thought Blade Wolf was a real fun boss to parry, then I've got news for you. We've got more edge in this fight than Bloodborne on the PlayStation 1. Monsoon can fucking teleport. He throws helicopters for fun, and his preferred method of dodging is self-bisection. He knows he's three edges away from being a son go see and you know what I fucking dig it hey Jack ever been to the Washington monument Such a good job with the montage. Thank you, thank you. I spent four days editing that. Now excuse me. Damn, damn. As I take this call. I see the memes. You are decapitated. Don't worry, it's just a little trolling, right? Do not repost my memes back at me. Oh, I wouldn't worry about that, because your memes end here. Listen, gamers, 10,000 likes, and I will watch part two, but not right now. Sorry, sorry. Gonna have to blue ball you. Oh, are you feeling blue balled? Well, that's not how blue balled feels. This.